All right, so welcome back. For today's video, we're gonna be starting a new series and the series is titled, Why I Paint. Um, in this series, we're gonna be focusing in on my process as an artist, why I do what I do, and what motivates me. Um, some of you may know that um, the majority of the artwork that I produce is acrylic paintings and a lot of them, and um, this painting is titled, Roses Do Grow From Concrete. If you can take a look here, you will see um, it's dedicated to Tupac Shakur, as well as a poem that he wrote titled, The Rose That Grew From The Concrete. So what I wanna do is just read a few words from a coloring book that I created, an underground coloring book uh, that I wrote about Tupac. I also wanna read the poem that this painting is inspired by and just kind of go over the process with you, why I picked the colors, things of that nature. So you can just get a little bit more of an idea of why I do what I do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off reading a passage uh, from this coloring book that I created and uh, then we'll take it from there. So bear with me one moment. All right, so this is the coloring book that I created um, titled Pac Smile. Um, the influence and the inspiration from this book came from a song titled Smile that Tupac was featured on um, with the rapper Scarface. This is one of the, my favorite songs that he wrote and uh, the lyrics really moved me. So before we get started, I'm gonna read the passage that I wrote from this coloring book to you guys so you can learn a little bit more about Tupac, okay? Tupac Amru Shakur is a very inspirational artist who has affected the lives of many, including myself, since his introduction to the world on June 16, 1971. Tupac, who was born in New York City, was given the name Lesane Paris Crooks at birth. His mother, Afini Shakur, was a member of the Black Panthers, and his stepfather, Mutulu Shakur, is an activist and political prisoner. As a youth, Tupac exhibited a variety of talents, including acting and poetry. As Tupac grew into young adulthood, his career seemed to take off quickly. Tupac released his first album titled Tupacalypse Now in 1991 and played his first starring role in the 1992 movie Juice. The early 1990s showed much promise for this young man as he slowly began to grow into stardom. Soon his fame and troubles would cast a spotlight over his life that is larger than the Batman symbol in the dark skies of Gotham. As the mid-1990s approached, Tupac would find himself in issues ranging from shooting of two police officers, experiencing pr police brutality firsthand, and receiving allegations against him in which he maintained his innocence until the day of his death. These troubles and the proclamation of thug life, the hate you gave little infants, everybody, turned Tupac into a controversial figure within the media. This tumultuous life led to Tupac being shot during a robbery in late 1994. A few months later, in early 1995, legal troubles turned in, into a young man with so much potential in prison during the prime of his life. As fate would have it, Tupac Shakur signed with Death Row Records in late 1995 and was released on bail with the assistance of music mogul Marion Suge Knight. Tupac experienced immediate success with Death Row Records and released the album All Eyes On Me in early 1996. He would soon become the most famous and wanted rapper in the world. This would be the final year of his life. Within just a few months, his rise to stardom would lead him to an early demise in the streets of Las Vegas, Nevada in late 1996. So I'm gonna stop reading right there and I'm just gonna kinda explain to you how I feel about Tupac. So. To me, Tupac is a very inspirational artist. Um, what I love most about him is you can feel exactly what he's going through. That's a gift that many artists don't have. I know that I've seen a lot of paintings, sculptures, and I've heard a lot of rap songs and other forms of music. And sometimes I thought that they were very good, but I couldn't feel them or understand them. Tupac was able to bring out emotion in his rap and he would make you feel that emotion. And the same th thing with his movies as well. You know, some of his roles that he played, my favorite being Juice, you could feel the character Bishop. You could feel him. He made you not like that character. He made you wonder what made him tick. And you know, those are the things about Tupac that I can respect and appreciate. And uh, not only that, but 
He expresses himself in a wide variety of ways. He made songs about the dramas that he uh, witnessed growing up. He made songs about gangs. He made songs about single parenthood. He made songs about revolution. He made songs about being lonely. And uh, you know, those are emotions that humans can relate to. Many of us have been through. So, you know, he's very inspirational to me and he's a very colorful artist. So as you can see, when I created this painting here, I wanted to use a lot of vibrant color to represent this man. I use blue to represent Tupac. I feel that blue is a very spiritual color. I've seen it used um, in religious art. I think it's also a very calming and a relaxing and a powerful color. So I thought it would be a great way to express his spiritual vibrancy, okay? So as you can see, there's a lot of strong, vibrant color in the background to make sure that the background is just as equally as important as Tupac the figure. There's a lot of geometric shape in the background. Of course, if you've seen any of my other works, I love using vibrant, sharp geometric shapes in my paintings. So just like my other paintings, I wanted to express that here. Another element that I added to this painting is the roses. And the roses symbolize um, you know, the poem that he wrote, which I'm gonna read to you, okay? Bear with me for one second and I'll get that out and I'll read it. And this poem is titled, The Rose That Grew From The Concrete. Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's laws wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, but by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. Long live the rose that grew from the concrete when no one else even cared. Now I'm sure that Tupac, if he read that to you, would have given it to you in a much better way that I could have. But to me, it's a very powerful poem. Basically, when I read that poem, I feel like he's talking about how he came from basically nothing. He came from a difficult life, a tumultuous life, and he made something of himself. He accomplished something and he grew. You know, his legend and his work lives on. He passed away in 1996, it's 2020. At this point, we're, we're getting close to 25, almost 30 years, and people are still listening to his music, reading his poetry, watching his movies feeling what he's saying. So those things are very inspirational to me. So that's a little bit how I feel about the artist Tupac, why I created this painting, and why he's so important to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna be making more videos explaining my paintings, my process, why I do what I do, so you can get a little insight on you know me as an artist, okay? So I appreciate your time. I hope that you like my video. I hope you subscribe to get more and uh, you have a great day. Peace.